Good morning and uh, welcome again to our morning devotion insight. And uh, we're always glad to see you, right? And uh, this morning I want to talk to you about more than conquerors. More than conquerors. Romans chapter 8, verse 37 says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. You know, Paul wrote to a congregation uh, that knew beyond all things what a conqueror was, right? And uh, they saw the triumphs, they saw the captives, they saw treasure, they saw foreign kings in chains, they saw generals receiving adoration. So in the wake of an army, you know, that was just, uh, you know, working out to, you know, they, you know, Paul sees the, the Roman Empire and, uh, you know, all that is happening. And uh, to those who knew conquerors, he invited to be more than conquerors. That means what Paul is trying to say, you know, yeah, you know, when we, we know what war is, we, we, we have experienced a lot of uh, failures and triumphs. We, we have seen how God has helped us through, you know, and uh, we have been able to be standing firm. And so here, uh, Paul begins to say, how can we be more than conquerors? I like this word more. Hmm. I like this word more. More than conquerors. How can we, how can I be more than a conqueror? And the first thing is that breach the wall of sin. Breach the wall of sin, you know. Of course, we all know that we are all separated in some ways. If sin, if sin is, is active in our lives, we will be separated from God. That is already defeat by itself when we choose to live in sin. So we breach the wall of sin means that we keep sin out of our lives, uh, separated Sometimes we are from God and the, the agony of, you no, know, I'm separated from God because of sin. So we breach that wall. We say, no, we want to make it right. We want to come back to God because I want to be a more than a conqueror. Huh? So he says, every victorious army that ever much is condemned in the end, unless sin is conquered. Huh? Unless sin is conquered. Where, where we realize that, you know, God... Uh, uh, you are on my side because I choose to live righteously. You are on my side because I choose to walk in holiness. And that we breach that wall of sin. Our marching orders cover the matter of what? Forgiveness of sin. So when we march on, we know we are forgiven. We are covered by the blood. We are washed by the blood of the Lamb. We need not fear. No matter how the enemy comes to bombard us, we need not fear. Rather, we stand knowing that God, I have already settled this issue of sin and I will put it at the cross and I know that I arise and I'm more than a conqueror. Secondly is that we wield the best weapons, mighty weapons, you know, mighty weapons that are spoken of in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. It says whole armor that, we, that is spoken of in Ephesians chapter 6, and the verse 10 to 17. And then we pierce, you know, just like the, the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God that pierced through us, uh, cutting through bones and marrows, you know. So we wield the best weapons. When we want to be more than conquerors, we need to have the best weapons, that is to pray in the Spirit, that is to have the Word of God, that is to have the full armor of God. Then we know, we are more than a conqueror. Then we follow orders from who? We follow orders from Christ, who is the captain of our soul. Uh, he's, Christ is our captain. Uh, the, and the obedient are victorious. When we obey orders, when we follow Jesus, we are victorious. Victory is already confirmed when we follow uh, our, our captain, and uh, that is Jesus Christ. Then we fight. Uh, we fight for what? We fight so that we can be able to attain the crown of life. We lay hold. We, we fight so that we, we know that we will not allow the enemy to disqualify us, uh, to disqualify us from eternal life, from the crown that is uh, set before us. Uh, we contend. We earnestly. That's why Paul says, he says, I fought the good fight. I finished my race. Uh, and we must all say that we, we maybe sometimes some, some seasons in life is really a battle, but we tell ourselves, I'm more than a conqueror. 
in Christ Jesus. Amen. And then see the victory. You know, see the victory. Why? Because in the wake of the Lord's army, and then we see that there is victory, especially in Revelation chapter 21, 20, we realize that it talks about great victory. We're going to be seated with Jesus Christ uh, at uh, where, where, uh, uh, where His throne is. We are going to be there. We are going to be worshipping Him. We are going to see Great victory. Why? Because we have followed orders, because we have wielded the best weapons, and because we know that victory is in Jesus Christ, because He has won it all. He has, He will die on the cross, He rose again, and victory is on His side. He has won the victory for us, and we also have our victory because of Jesus Christ. So the Bible pictures the Christian life in terms of great intensity, a race, a fight, a battle. Imagine yourself at the end, all in all, done all. You didn't retreat. You didn't say I back down. You didn't say, oh, I'm so I, I'm so tired or, or, or no, I, I, I cannot fight anymore. What did you do? You will be more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Amen. So let us continue to work on and believe that neither whatever life nor death or whatever can really separate us from the love of God because He has really raised us up to be more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.